Hello everyone and welcome to quarantine time. I hope this finds you all in the pink. As you can see, I'm in the pink and this evening we're going to be having Vincent Price Pink Tonics. This is a very easy cocktail. It's basically gin or vodka, tonic water and some Angostura bitters, that weird little bottle of stuff that has a bit of paper around it that you might have in the back of your cocktail cabinet. I'm just going to talk a little bit about Vincent because he is my all-time favourite uh, culinary superstar because many of you will know that Vincent Price wrote several cookbooks. Not only was he interested in food, but luckily for us, he was also very interested in booze. So, one of the things he uh, did was he was involved with promoting Californian wines. So this is a wonderful LP, which has Vincent talking, waxing lyrical about wines. It's very, very lovely. Um, so he was interested in wine. He was interested in cocktails. I have a few of his recipes, cocktail recipes, which may be coming up in quarantine time. Um, and yes, he wrote several cookbooks, including this legendary, A Treasury of Great Recipes which was published in the 60s. It's a beautiful book. It's my favourite cookbook of all. Um, I have got about 900 Vincent Price recipes in my collection and I've cooked about 150 of them. So if you want to cook something Vincent Price related to go with your movie star cocktail, just uh, have a look at www.silverscreensoffers.com. You'll find lots of Vincent Price recipes. So he wrote several cookbooks, including this one, and also uh, the Come Into the Kitchen cookbook, which is beautiful because it's got these amazing, I'll show you these amazing illustrations. Also, I have my lovely assistant helping me, cooking price-wise, which as you can see is well used here at Silver Screen Silver Towers. I've cooked lots from this. And also, he made LP records. It was called the International Cookery School, I think, or International Cookery Class, LP Records, and you can sometimes find these on CD. And these are brilliant because he tells you all about how to create a nice party atmosphere when you're cooking his dishes. And it's lovely listening to him on the stereo. It's very good. So, without further ado, I will show you how to make a Vincent Price pink tonic. The main ingredient is vodka. And I just wanted to say, be careful. If you get a legendary uh, grocery delivery in these strange times, don't get overexcited if you want to restock your vodka. Because I ordered some vodka and look, it's tiny. <laughs> I didn't check how much vodka it was. So I'm running out of vodka. I've got some extra vodka, but it's teeny tiny vodka. So your Vincent Price tonic, he says you can have uh, vodka or gin, but today we're having gin in the friends end of the friends and relations cocktail shaker. So, measure of vodka. Oh, just about, just about got one there. Tonic water. Uh, we are currently favoring the fever tree Mediterranean tonic. I like these little cans, they're quite handy. You just pop them in your fridge. Well, these will be nice, strong ones. And a dash of Angostura bitter, which is what makes it pink. Now, uh, Vincent was also kind of a spokesperson for Angostura bitter, Angostura bitters. So there's lots of recipes online promoted by Vincent in uh, magazine adverts for using Angostura Bitter in food and there were often cocktail recipes alongside so that's where this recipe for pink tonics comes from. So a little dash and once that all mixes in we'll make a lovely pink cocktail. Now before I invite Mr Rathbone to join me I've got a very special announcement. Many of you, if you're a Vince Price fan, will know Peter Fuller, who runs the um, 
Vincent Price Legacy UK website and who, with whom I have had many Vincent Price related adventures. Many Vincent Price cucumber crocodiles have been made and all kinds of exciting things have been done. But we have something very exciting to announce. Uh, you see, it's all gone pink. Some of you will be familiar with the Vincent Price co-star album. This is awesome because you get to act opposite Vincent Price. It's great, you put it on your record player, he says a line, you say a line, he says a line, you say a line, and you do actually feel like you are acting opposite Vincent Price. Well, Peter and I have come up with this idea of doing a Vincent Price co-star cookbook. So, Peter will be writing reviews of 50 of his favorite Vincent Price films, and I will be suggesting a Vincent Price recipe and a co-star recipe to go with each film. So we are both very excited about this. We're looking for test cooks. So what better time than now in these strange, strange times to get in the kitchen and cook a movie star recipe. So check out my website. Uh, there's a list there of all the recipes that are up for test cooking. You are the first people to hear about this. I'm announcing it right here in this video. So get to the website, choose your recipe and get cooking. I think that was all I wanted to say in this video. Oh yeah, next week, thank you my lovely assistant, we're going to be having Shirley Temples. Yeah. So the Shirley Temple is a, a non-alcoholic cocktail, if you can believe that. So I will also be showing you how to make an alcoholic version if you are that way inclined. So next week, Shirley Temple cocktail. Um, now I should know what's in that. It is, I think, ginger beer and a bit of that, what's that pink stuff? Um, hmm, I can't remember. All right, grenadine, grenadine. I think that's all that's in it, but, but I will put it on all the social media so you'll know what's in it. Okay, I'm gonna ask Mr. Rathbone to join me now to sample a pink tonic. Here you we can comes. never guess what I found, darling. What have you found? Down in the vaults. <gasps> I found the very last bottle of Vincent Price Black Cat <gasps> IPA. <laughs> Complete oh, with cobwebs. Ah, he's been down the vaults. He's oh, yeah. been down my wine cellar. He's found a dusty bottle of the Black Cat. You won't <gasps> find this in the shops anymore, kids. No. But uh, have a little gander. That's rare. Oh, yeah. We can have that with our um, Vincent Price toad in the hole, which we're having for dinner. Now, that's a good idea. In it. Right. Cheers, my friends. Uh, hope you're all well and safe. Here's a toast to everybody working on the front line, the healthcare professionals, the couriers, uh, postmen, and I should have said postwomen last week. Uh, postmen, postwomen, um, people working in all the food shops, people keeping the country going and the world going, in fact. Cheers to you all. To See you, you all. next week. Chin chin. Stay quarantined. Stay quarantined. Oh, new catchphrase. Cheers. <laughs>